First down and goal inside the five. Pick it in zone. They've got it. It's a touchdown to Fryer Move. There's Fryer Move on the left hand side. Pushes up a little bit. Quick snap out. Just past Dre Greenlaw's outstretched hand. That was a perfectly thrown football. That was the only spot that could have been in or that would have been a pick. But how are you going to feel going into week two, week three, week four? Pickett makes something happen. Firing downfield to Allen Robinson. Pickett wide open. Pickens. Here he goes. Touchdown Steelers. Back on top. Kenny Pickett initially was looking inside to throw that football and it was through his progression that got him to the outside with pressure inside by Dalvin Tomlinson. Pickett ends up banged up. You could see him get up, kind of grabbing at his shoulder as Pickens was going down the field for a 71-yard touchdown. They're down at eight. Sideline shot. What a good strong throw and catch is made by Calvin Austin. Blanketed by Denzel Ward, but 10 yards on a rocket from Kenny Pickett. No, that I think that's his best throw tonight. Pickett fires, and that's Pickens. Makes a nice spin move and drags down in midfield. Well, really nice job by this offensive front, giving Pickens a, a chance to just hang in the pocket and step up. He hasn't had a lot of opportunities like that tonight. But, boy, he, he sees it. He gets through the progression, steps up, and he delivers a good ball to George Pickens on the in route. Pickett. Pickens, spinning catch. And these two starting to heat up a little bit. Out to the 48. Well, there's a window there that Pickett has to put it in. So when Pickens comes out of that break, he's got to fit it in before the corner can get there and make a play on it. When he sets up in the pocket and drives it, he's been really good. Now the shotgun snap. They bring the blitz. Kenny throws it long down the field. There's a man open. He's got it on a dead run. And it's Calvin Austin going, going, gone. Touchdown. The speed of Calvin Austin, a 4-3-2 track star. But watch the blitz pick up. Here's the key to the play. Jalen Warren, 5 foot 8, comes up and stones the rushing Crosby and sets up the bomb. They pick it up perfectly. That was nice. And he's bringing four. And pick it hit as he throws and hung in there to complete it to the 38-yard line. George Pickens over the middle. And he's like Devontae Adams. You just have to give him a chance. We have seen so many times that sometimes coverage can make a quarterback. Jeez, look at the shot he took there. Pickett is so good on the move. They have a few schemes in this game plan. Get him out of the pocket and get him to do exactly that. About 16. we going to take the sneak there and find the space in the crease. From the 23, Steelers start this drive. Kenny Pickett's got some space, rips it to George Pickens. With a toe dance on the sideline, inbounds. They know that Max Crosby is going to be hustling like crazy. Let me go get Najee on that side. That's the way you slow him down. You don't always have to block him, and that was some play that time by Pickens, because if he drops his heels down on that boundary, that's and incomplete. Pickens spins around, he's got space to run again. Can he get the first down? To Yes, he can. Let's give some credit to Jalen Warren. Going to come out here with this little chip block. And Pickett knew in this game when they got into man coverage situations that he was going to have a chance to run. Spins back out of there. And because everybody's chasing a receiver down the field, there you go. But this is, it's almost unbelievable. Now this fake bootleg left. Throws for the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Pat Fryermuth, his second of the year, and Kenny Pickett feels it. Sweet move. That's what it is right there. What a great job. Kenny with a little rollout action, able to navigate the open field there. I'm telling you what, that's a great corner route by the move. He comes off, and he's got Divine Diablo in man coverage. He just leaves him in the dust, and Kenny finds him immediately when he makes that break. There's no doubt about it. What a great throw by Kenny. 3.56 to go, third quarter. With a score of Pittsburgh 23, the Raiders 7. This is the Pittsburgh Steelers Radio Network. I, I know people love to hate on Matt Canada, but that was a really good call. Pickett, pocket starts to collapse. Still looking, tucks it away. Pickett, first down, oh, Pittsburgh. Close. Boy, he pays the price, takes a hard hit. Pickett, this kid's tough. Third and one, Pickett. Just as Arch pointed out, that's to be his uh, second rushing first down of this opening drive for the Steelers. As they just 
Try to continue to keep those good vibes going. At the Houston 46, as they play in a 13-point oh, yeah. hole. Here comes oh. the push, pick it. They make a man miss and takes on another defender's, does the move, and he gets uh, positive yardage down to the 41 for five yards, and it looked like that play was going to be negative. Well, you got to look at that, and Kenny, just on the verge of going down for a sack, he cites Fryermuth, who ran over a couple of Texans, did a great job. That's probably the toughest five-yard run of his career. Second and ten for Pittsburgh. Pickett in the pocket, lost it, sideline, handled by Pickens. Clean catch and a first down. Remember what Kenny Pickett told us in our meeting. If he sees one-on-one, -on -one, the ball's got to get to number 14 and give him a chance. This is third and six. Pickett. Pocket holds up. Pickett looks downfield and hits his man for a first down. Hayward. And remember, Evan Washburn told us before the game about Kenny Pickett's leg injury, but he had told us, hey, my movement's fine, and we're seeing that here in the early going. Buys extra time for this play to develop, gets out of the pocket a little bit, hey, and Connor Hayward comes free to pick up the first down. Pickett looking the other way, and finds the soft spot, George Pickett. This was really well designed. They had motion going one way, they looked back the other, and then hit him on the throwback on a nice route by Pickens. Second and nine. Pickens sprays it. Pickens walking the tightrope for the first down grab. 13 yards. Not just the catch, but as you described, Ian, being able to keep his feet in on the sideline. Catch. Watch the feet. One, two, dragging it over the sideline. Could not have been done any better. Pickett laces it. Caught by Pickens. First down. And getting closer to field goal territory. 21 yards on the hookup. Two minutes to play. He's back. He throws it down the near sideline. Pickens has it. Pittsburgh Steelers tech now. Pick it to Pickens. 41 yards. And you have to be here. That's as sweet as my Aunt Millie blueberry pie, baby. And this bizarre addition of Ravens Steelers has taken yet another turn. Look at all these guys who are up deep there. So now you have all the guys here on the outside one-on-one. -on -one, and he did it against Marlon Humphrey, his first game back after foot surgery. One more time, what did Kenny Pickett tell us in our meeting? If I see 14 matched up one-on-one, -on -one, he gets the football. This kid is a gamer late in, late in contests. Remember how he beat Baltimore last year on a Sunday night with a late drive? Trying to do it again today. Yeah. Pickett under pressure, and he goes to Pickens. And Pickens goes into Rams territory. Oh, this is easy right here. If you're going to play this soft of a coverage and leave the inside of the field open, watch the release up inside right there. Very, very soft. And look at that big space for George Pickens to work on the slant. Byron Young delivered the blow as he has often in his rookie campaign for the Rams. And Pickett stood in there and delivered to his top target. Kenny Pickett, comeback route. It is snatched in Rams territory for a first down by Deontay Johnson. Welcome back to one of the Steelers' best wide receivers. Side. When you've got Deontay Johnson working, he knows he's going to get to the outside, but he's still pressed to the inside. So just a great job having that confidence that he knows he's going to be able to, to cross the face and get outside. So far for two of their wins. Oh, George Pickens back shoulder just snatches it in front of Witherspoon. It's a gain of 19, and Aaron Donald was bearing down on Pickett. Well, we, we've heard Kenny Pickett talk about this all the time. If I get one-on-one -on -one with 14, the ball is going that way. And this is a throw that early in their careers they have gotten so good at. Yep. That, that back shoulder throw, I mean, Kenny Pickett is great with the location, working with a big-bodied receiver out there. It, it is virtually impossible to stop. It's Pickett. It's a touchdown. Tie game. Kenny Pickett right there finds that soft spot. Traditional quarterback sneak finds a soft spot, breaks that plane easily. Look down the bottom again. Pickett's looking there for Pickens. Back shoulder executed to perfection in front of their old teammate, Akella Witherspoon. How about George Pickens getting a free release on Akella Witherspoon? Back shoulder throw, and you talk about a magician working the sidelines. Akella Witherspoon didn't know where where the ball was and where the out of bounds was at first. The chemistry that they've developed on this back shoulder throw is very impressive in a short amount of time. Pickett steps up, delivers on the sideline for Johnson. Catch made and the Steelers are in business. 
Pittsburgh comes in 43 points off of turnovers this season. That's the fourth most in the NFL. They're trying to add to that total. That's a 14 yard pickup. And remember Jacksonville in the red zone today zero for two in terms of touchdowns. Pittsburgh has the one timeout remaining. They didn't give him the first down. Pickett out of trouble. Pickett throws it. And two flags on the play. Johnson makes the grab, but the flags were on the other side of the field. Clean catch. Pickett. He's going to run it. Pickett gets out of bounds. First down. And then some pushing and shoving at the end of the play. And Mason Cole going over to protect his quarterback that really didn't need protecting. But Mason Cole letting you know how they feel about Kenny Pickett. I don't want anyone touching him in any shape or form, says their starting center. Four man rush. Pickett sliding left under pressure. Dumps it off underneath. Able to pick up 13 yards. It'll be third down and two. How about this by Kenny Pickett? It looks like a sack. There's the athletic ability. Keep the play alive. And now you're just getting your eyes downfield. You hit the check down there. And now you got some positive yards there to Johnson. Steelers on the move. Pickett fires over the middle. Leaping catch made at the 10 yard line. That's Deontay Johnson again. Edmonds covering on the play. First down. First and goal. Love that matchup for Pickett and the Steelers. Great receiver. Matched up against a, a safety that's soft off a slot there, and he really seemed to step into this throw. A lot more velocity and great accuracy. They convert there on that third down. This is the best looking Steelers drive we've seen to open up a game maybe all year. Pick it down the sideline. It's caught. Johnson skirting the sideline. Sean Murphy bunting out, man free. Take a chance, late hands. I think that's what gives Johnson a chance. Is he didn't look, he eyes the football, but the hands didn't come up. So Avery, who's beat, doesn't have a chance to react to those late hands. Pick it to the end zone. Touchdown! And there it was. Deontay Johnson finally gets into the end zone. 119 consecutive receptions without a touchdown. open to make them hesitant. They'll push it. And it is enough for a first down. So this is a Pennsylvania push? It's a Pennsylvania push today. And Connor Hayward comes in and does a really good job guiding him into the hole. Pocket collapses. He's trapped. He reverses field back to the hole. He's running, directing traffic. And he goes out of bounds after a couple of yards pickup. Pickett pats the ball and throws on a line. Hauled in by Johnson. And if you're going to go after someone in the Green Bay secondary, remember Jair Alexander, they're all pro corner, not playing today. So Corey Ballantyne, the youngster out of Washburn, is stepping into his spot as an outside corner. Shotgun snap. Pickett's going to go down to George Pickens, and he snatches it away from the defender and gets a first down across midfield. Oh, he... I hope he's okay. It almost looked a little gimpy, but again, you got the single high safety. Well, then when you got single high, you want to let it fly, and they did. A little back shoulder throw. Jostled in the pocket. He's going to run for the first down. He's got it, and he slides at the 40-yard line, and the Steelers needed six. Got about 12. Kenny Pickett using the legs this time. Oh. Boy, he does a great job of seeing everybody downfield and going, you know what? I can make that first down marker. Second down and five for Pickett. Steps up, and Pickett will run for the first down. He was over the line again as he started to slide. Good job by the officials spotting the ball. Going for it on fourth down. Pickett, they're trying to push him there. And now it just comes down to the spot. The near side official would be enough. And he may have given it to him. Ruling on the field stands as called. Cleveland has charged a timeout. Kenny Pickett described it to us. Got to go out and cut it loose. Have fun. Fake the handoff. Pickett throws, and it's caught by Fryermuth working the middle of the field. Fryermuth is down at the 49. So there you go, right out of the gate. And what we just saw right there, exactly what you have to do and what's been lacking in this offense. Pushing the ball downfield to targets who can make plays such as Fryer Muth did. Day in, day out basis. Third and 14. Pickett hangs in there. Connects with Fryer Muth. First down. And watch here. 
right through there, getting up into the seam, and it's right over the top of one of their better coverage linebackers, Logan Wilson, who looked like he was going to play a little bit on the shallow side. He was not running and carrying the receiver with him upfield. He was going to a zone drop spot and expect the safety to pick him up. And right in that dead spot between linebacker and safety, Kenny Pickett throws a dime. Downfield hit. Caught by Johnson. This is what Steelers fans have been waiting for. 39 yards on the pass play. And Kenny Pickett recognized he has one-on-one -on -one outside. And how many times has he told us, Ian? I see one-on-one. -on -one. I want to get it to these receivers. Give them an opportunity. And how nice was that pass? Dropped it right between the one and the eight. You see the middle of the field. And then you see the throw to the outside. Single high safety. He has no chance to get involved in that one-on-one -on -one coverage. Going up top, Pickens over the shoulder grab for the first down. 43 yards on the hookup. Good concept design, slot fade. You see how Calvin Austin stopped to take a defender out of the play and turned it into a one-on-one -on -one downfield. And let's not underestimate just how well thrown that football was. Pickens wins the route against Mike Hilton, and look where this ball is. He might as well have gone out there and laid it in his chest. Second down and one. Pickett. The time and the throw deep. He's got him. Pickens. Well, great play design here. Pickens is going to go deep and then watch the tight end counter. Hayward, he runs the flat right. That holds the corner and keeps him down. So Pickens is one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Good play action on second and short. You bring in the extra offensive lineman. Everybody thinks you're going to run. And instead, you take the big shot up the field. Harris is in there now. Nice slant, Pickens the catch, third today, Wilson makes the stop. Nice throw by Pickett to Pickens at the 33, it's a pickup of 10. Another Steeler, first down, moving the ball well here. That's why it was kind of a combination job that they decided to go with. Third and goal, Pickett on the move, can he get in? A little bit shy. Well, he takes a big hit right Led at the end. Ledbetter, Ledbetter got him, you're right. Uh, look at he. oh, he's holding on to that right leg. Well, the right leg is because he's tackled from behind in the body. You see, that, that right leg is already taped up. You see it spat at the... The starter, Kenny Pickett, number one pick out of Pitt a year ago, and he came into the game with ankle issues. 